depending on who you talk to, more guns are either the cause of or the solution to gun violence. Regardless, guns are everywhere in America, and the Second Amendment has become one of the most valued pieces of American legislation. However, gun violence is a serious issue. According to the CDC, for example, 308 people are shot every single day, many of which are teens or children. That's unacceptable. However, I would like to focus on a lesser known aspect of the gun debate, the Dickey Amendment. When you're researching a subject so that you can debate it, you need to research it thoroughly. You need to know as much as possible about it so that you can have an informed, intelligent debate. And when you're a legislator, the stakes are even higher. You can't just go around playing pin the tail on the donkey. No, no, you need to know what you're talking about. So you would assume that Congress would want to know as much as possible about gun violence, right? Right? Wrong. In 1996, Congressman Jay Dickey, backed by the NRA, successfully passed a gun rights bill that became known as the Dickey Amendment. And what it does is it effectively stops the government from researching gun violence on the grounds that gun violence research is somehow the same as gun control advocacy. And now, as one CDC researcher puts it, we're flying blind when it comes to gun violence. And by the way, that CDC statistic that I mentioned earlier about the 308 people, it's the only CDC statistic that I could find that isn't outdated just because of how difficult it is to research gun violence under the Dickey Amendment. And the thing is, it needs to be renewed every single year, and it is, by Democrats and Republicans. It's gotten so bad that Jay Dickey himself, the guy who brought this nightmare into existence, has come out against it. He advocates against his own creation, saying it was a mistake. And we owe it to those 308 people to at least try to figure out how to solve gun violence. The beautiful thing is, though, that if we try hard enough, if we bother them long enough, eventually Congress will listen to us. That's why I want you to call this number, 202-225-5716. That is Dr. Ami Barra's congressional office number in Washington, D.C. I want you to call that number and say, hi, how are you doing? What do you think he could do about that Dickey Amendment? I want you to call him all the time, call him every week, call him at Thanksgiving and say, Happy Thanksgiving. You know what would make me grateful? If you could do something about that Dickey Amendment. Call him at Christmas and say, Merry Christmas. Why is the Dickey Amendment still there? You get what I'm saying? If, if we keep bothering Congress, eventually they will listen to us. I'd like you to imagine a world, just for a second, where that actually happens. It's a world where we can finally have an intelligent, informed debate about gun violence instead of scream fests for gun rights or sit-ins for gun control. It's a world where 308 people are saved every single day because we now have done the necessary research to stop gun violence. That's why we need to stand up together. We need to force Congress together to stop shooting themselves in the foot every single year.